Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. This is a ladder cast between two UEFs. Had a lot of UEF recently. Bully Dozer. Noob. First land. Mountain. Tizen. First land. The map is Chiron. Map made by Mad Mozart. Um, uh, I had the, okay, had the concept for the map, and uh, then we kind of worked on it. But all the actual map making work was done by Mad Mozart. We look at the chat here. Already complaints about the map. Why has it got to be this map? Be interested to know why they dislike it, but I. It's important to note that. As soon as you complain about a map at the start of a game, <laughs> you're already behind. It's not a good psychology to uh, try win a game under. So we're gonna see Transport Rush. This map is basically a 10x10 land map in the middle with a 20x20 naval map surrounding and lots of islands so we'll have the ACUs going to middle and we'll have a big battle over this and have some plateaus here have some reclaim dotted around tree line here some water in the middle a couple of mexes reclaim etc patches of reclaim around some underwater mexes as well and some outer islands that have to be dropped. Also, these are split, so you can't, um, you have to drop this island here. You can't actually walk up, this is a cliff. So you have to drop this portion. You can walk to this portion though, these mexes down here in the reclaim and edge build also up top. Generally, these, are, these corners are dropped. So we actually have a scout and an interceptor first, so gotta say, don't make a scout first. If you're gonna make an interceptor to try and stop a transport rush, gotta make the inti first. That's just good sense. Bully Dozer, let's see, he's stalling. And where's the transport? Here it is. It's pretty late. Let's see what, what he can do with the interceptors. Or you can see the interceptors are not even halfway across the map. And Mountain has an almost fully laden transport moving to the center island. So it's good. This is generally the place to drop. You drop up here because there's extra chunks of mass to help you out. Then this base. It's hydro can get dropped because it's also near reclaim and also we have space. But uh, you only have five engineers, so you really have to pick your spots to drop. You could also be aggressive and try to drop the opponents, one of the opponent's bases or the opponent's uh, plateau. But uh, the interceptor does interceptor slow down the transport, doesn't let him drop all the spots he wants, but. I don't think that's actually worth it because Tizen may actually win. Hmm. He could possibly win air here. And Bully Dozer is going to be later to mid. It's to get another Inti on there. Or NG. Only five NGs on his transport. Should have uh, got a sixth one. So we're going to have a lot of air focus at the start and then the land battle will begin. We'll have the ACUs coming. And we'll probably have more transports. It's a good idea to add more more air factories as Mountain is doing. Preferably with adjacency to the Hydro. <laughs> I'm such a nitpicking fuck. <laughs> oh god. It's funny though. I'm sure, I'm sure some of these guys who I cast all the time like Mountain must be so triggered every time I call him out on shit. And he watches my games and sees all the shit I do. 
That's completely retarded. But hey, if you don't cast, <laughs> see the thing is, I don't ever get, I don't get casted, so I never get subjected to this, this torture. Eco Dube was complaining, you know, saying he has feelings, which I'm not sure he does. Do the Dutch have feelings? Jury is still out. Okay, let's get this cast back in track. Looks good in mid. We still have... Oh, very greedy here. No. Look, building all six mexes before building factories. I guess he needed the mass. If he didn't need the mass, he definitely should not have been that greedy. So there's going to be units coming to his base shortly. Mountain does need some mass. But that's a, that's a nice eco balance right there. Oh, he lost his NG here, or what? Uh, what happened? What's what's happening here? This was surely the engineer that was building the factory. It's kind of weird. Air looks kind of even, but oh, Bully Dozer took a very bad engagement there, and we can see neither player microing. They're just patrolling. Attack move is actually the exact same order as a patrol, by the way, except it ends. There's no there's no actual difference between those orders. And so Mountain, if he was microing, he could definitely one air convincingly, but he still actually wins out. Have yeah, bully dozer's still in his base. Definitely want to get to mid, help out. He's not gonna get this base anytime soon because Mountain spamming across there. See Mountain. Uh, should see the sides dropped. Yeah, Mountain's being quite active now with his transport. Build the mexes. Why are the mexes not being built? Here we go. There is so much to do on this map. It's extremely APM heavy. It's a very try hard map. And there's a lot of eco management involved because see how many mechs he has already. He has 18 mechs and I mean he can probably get as many of that again uh, and still have just beyond his half of the map. I mean see all these these water mechs here. All the or not water mechs but island mechs out here. These can be uh, killed by frigates and T1 Navy. We have some some wrecks as well to grab the islands, the plateaus, need to be need to be dropped pretty quickly. Another air fight. They're just constantly trading inties, generally over Bullydozer's base, and Bullydozer is micring now. And now he stopped micring. I uh, really, it's hard to understand what when people decide to micro and not micro. I mean, stop stop micring mid fight, mid air fight. I mean, how long does an air fight last? Like ten seconds. Is there anything really more pressing within those ten seconds? You need to just attack move, which is, I mean, attack moving indies is just garbage. It's they're it's not good. <laughs> you gotta mic. It's it's just so much more effective to micro them. T2 air is complete. Fa pretty, pretty reasonable time. A lot faster T2 than uh, Bully Dozer. That's going to help him get those T2P gens out. And again, there's so much mass here. So that's a big deal. We should see some ecoing. Now, where do you eco on this map? Because Mad Mozart <laughs> made this map and he has a very particular fetish for frigates killing mexes. So. All the mexes on the main island can be killed by frigates. And that's painful, so I think it's actually better to mu upgrade here. In the middle. Because if you just send someone sending frigs quickly, which, you know, is pretty viable on this map, sending quick frigs quickly around to your opponent's base, it's just so annoying to kill them. They have a lot of HP, they can deny your production. 
They can kill all your base mexes. They can ki deny the NGs expanding here. Kill all these mexes. And we can see here. Uh, this guy's got to kill some, some mexes likely. And we actually have T2 mechs here from Bully Dozer. Which can be killed. This mech is going T2. It's just finished. So I think upgrading here is actually significantly safer than the base mechs. But as I've been talking random shit, Bully Dozer has totally secured his his second expansion in mid, his second main expansion. Still not using his commander in mid at all, which is a mistake. I mean, I think it's it can be quite good to you can do some very nice tactics with the ACU and T2 air and. Oh, you know, make some upgrade and drop t drop to make a fight with the enemy commander when he's not expecting it. Like maybe he sees he sees this army and he's like, "Well, I have an army and I face you." That's fine, but if you just drop a if you drop a gun commander here, and I mean you can get a kill pretty pretty damn fast, and you definitely have the mass to be making stuff like T two air transports gun. So I think the AC is extremely important tool on this map, and I mean you can drop a lot of places. T2 um, drops are also going to be good. So Bully Dozer has actually looks like he's going to grab both of the island expansions. Meanwhile, a whole squadron of bombers going to work but there's AA on this plateau this is an important plateau you definitely want to get this plateau as this player and actually bulldozer overall is just getting mexes all over the place look at these he has the underwater mexes here and on his opponent's side he has this plateau on his opponent's side and this one and from up here you get t2 you can make mmls kill this entire expansion very difficult to stop MMLs from there. You have to actually drop on the plateau and kill them. Here we have an air fight. Again, Mountain is just just patrolling, but he has so many more in this scenario that it doesn't matter. Completely dominates air, and that's important because there's gunships coming. Now, on a map like this, which is very large, 20x20, you can actually get your interceptors to all the places they need to be when your opponent has T2 air gunships and stuff around. So static defense is actually important. You know, a couple T1 AA turrets dotted around are going to help you a lot because you generally want to keep your interceptors in one large group so you can't uh, lose air. So, you know, if you split your air, it becomes vastly more vulnerable to uh, the enemy air taking it out. So if you want to deal with gunships, say, now actually in this scenario, Bully Dozer doesn't actually have all these targets because he already has, he has the expansions. But say, say he doesn't have these two and he sends a gunship, a couple of gunships here, a couple of gunships here, a couple of gunships after the army in mid, and then we have to send interceptors to all these locations. By the time the interceptors even get there, the gunships have done damage. So static defense are pretty, pretty important versus air protect you against air loss and I mean you only need like if you make one then he has to send he can't send a single gunship now, if you make two then he can't send two you probably need like four gunships and he has to take out the AA before moving on to the actual targets and then your interceptors are there and you can defend another thing T3 air is going to be quite good on this map because it's so large, but uh, I think, you know, there's just so many options here. This is a big, a big attack with the T1 Navy, and he can go after these mexes. See, vulnerable T2 mechs. This one is sh for sure going to die. And Mozart just creamed his pants watching this. And there's a lot of T1 Navy. It looks very good for Bully Dozer. Oh, we have a drop. There goes uh, <laughs> energy storage. I think that might have killed some units that were 
attacking that. And I'm going way too fast through the replay again. The gunship's doing really good work for for Tizen. May be able to get him back in the game. He can go after these mexes, these juicy T2 mexes here instead of the army. I think that might be a good option. Or just attack all of these, these T1 mexes spread around. We have a T2 drop full of tanks coming to the base. Again, another drop. The last one was T1. You can see here, that's a T1 transport. Unless he saved the T2 transport. We have another T2 transport coming in. This this P-Gen is likely to be dead. We have no PD. We have an air turret going up, but that's far too late. This P-Gen is doomed. And we actually... Oh, we have T2 Navy. A cruiser just comes out. The gunships were coming over to attack the T2 Naval HQ. But the, the governor just appeared... Uh, the governor is a beastly cruiser. Extremely good anti-air, massive missiles, and Mountain has completely lost navy. There's so much T1 navy here. This entire base... Well, uh, there's only T1 navy here so far, so all the mexes are, sh should certainly be dead. And if the cruiser comes over... Oh, we are, have a Destro as well. If that comes over, then we're going to see the base get killed and also these mexes have been killed but this this T1 land it's just tanks it's not even artillery it's just killing all the power of bully dozer like there's not his commander is in the water what are you what, why what, what are you doing why is he in the water when he's he's, he's die, losing his base to T1 tanks now we have Oh, well, he does. They're getting in behind again. The patrol micro, but uh, Mountain has has more here, so he should still clean this up quite easily, preventing any gunships or anything coming out of the factory. Here we have a land push. There's not that many units, and there's a lot of production. Let's see, it's bully dozer. He's stalling mass slightly, so not not. Oh, he's quite heavily sometimes. So the tanks are building too quickly, but he has enough, and now he has a PD up. And the the attack failed. So let's see where is oh the Destros coming? That's gonna that's gonna kill a, a lot of stuff. You can see the range here. You can basically kill everything here. Maybe not some stuff slightly further away. So the cruiser, however, is going to work on. The cruiser can kill pretty much everything. I mean, it has a very good range. Most of the mexes are on the outside of the island. You can see there's not much on the inside. So you need TMD to defend versus the cruisers. And there's only cruisers coming out because Navy is completely won. The base is dead. Let's see, where is the power of Bullydozer? Because he's lost... Well, he's going to actually lose all of his... Where's his AC? Is he still running? doesn't even want to save his base even though there's only T1 land there I guess he doesn't want to show his ACU because he's not confident in his air so he may if he shows his ACU he's much more likely to get sniped so he's playing extremely safe but sometimes you play too safe and it costs you so even though he's killing his opponent's base and he has Navy if he loses mid then we have a serious game What is the plan for Mountain? That's the most important thing. What can he do? The, what M Mountain needs is... Well, he has air. He needs to find the power. So he knows... He's just killed all the power in the main island. So here we can see there's power right there. But that can't be all of it. There's 1.1k power for... We only have... 25 T1 Pigeons. We have, ah, uh, yes, we have a secret NG on the other island, of course. You see Pigeons here, you gotta expect them on the other side. Where else do we have them? There are some Pigeons being built on this island. We have some, I don't know, a few Pigeons in this main base, so not much at all. We don't, is there T2 Pigeon anywhere? Could there possibly be? There's no T2 tech here. The only T2 tech is. 
not on the commander. It's just the... Oh, we have some hydros. Oh, look at all the hydrocarbons. That is actually where he's getting most of his power. He has hydros everywhere. This one, easily killed. This one should be killed. There's no defense here. This can all be killed by air. This one here. This one here. Oh, so much. All of this power is extremely vulnerable, but Mountain doesn't know where it is. He can't see it. He doesn't know where it is. So what Mountain needs is he needs to find the power. He needs to find, he needs to be scouting. Not have 17 air scouts in the one place, scouting the same location. He is now scouting. He needs to search all of these islands. Here's some power here. He's actually spotted this. And he needs to aim for the hydros as well. He can easily kill those. Because there's very little space for bulldozer to build anything. We have T2 mexes. These the safest mexes in town. But even more pressing than building, than finding the power, is finishing Bullydozer off the middle island. If he can do that, then uh, this could be a very, very long and interesting game. Where Bullydozer is going to have to find some land to build on. And uh, make enough, well he's going to have cruisers and he can have shield boats if he has power. Which will allow uh, a lot of resistance to, to air. But if Mountain can turtle up, he needs what he really needs desperately more than anything. So those little, little guys with the guns on their backs that can build TMD. He needs the Sparkies. To run all around this map, spam TMD versus the cruiser. And then maybe even some mobile shields to help them. But he needs some safe power as well. That's the main thing. Needs to secure his power from, from cruiser fire. And if he can secure his power from cruiser fire, then he can hopefully save his mechs from cruiser fire as well. What does he see? Has he found the power? He's found... Uh, a whole bunch of completely undefended pgens here. There's no cruisers. It's just gonna send T1 bombers after it. He hasn't found this power. There's quite a lot here. And not killing the hydros. But look, bully does are still able to build a very significant army. And mountain can't kill them. I mm, okay. One way to just guarantee you're going to kill all of these factories is to build a TML. It's not a very efficient way to kill factories. But ideally he could just clean this up but he does not have the army to do it and he's has lost so much mass income. Oh that's nice though. With Pigeons getting absolutely roasted He's lost his main island completely. But his opponent still does not have a real base that's safe or anything. I mean, with the TML, he could just kill all these factories. He still has 100 units to deal with, but he'll have no production to deal with. It's... I mean, if he can get PDs in range of the factories, then it's going to be a lot better for him. But it looks like he's really having trouble killing killing the production there's so many factories here you just can't get rid of and if he can't clean up this this middle island he has no chance i think if t2 air we have p gens going up but where's the tmd is there any i don't see any tmd at all and these, all these, all these things are in range. If we look at the cruiser, oh well, maybe that's not in range. But you can see all these bases, these mexes here along the sides. Rip those pigeons. T3 Air HQ. Uh, he's been spotted here. 
it's a very very dead base that he has just built four cruisers a fifth one coming this doesn't look good now bully dozer does lose all of his air again still there's just so many units Tizen trying to make a TTPD he should have gun really and just go to work on the I think gun would be better than a lot of these PDs these are really nice Ooh, 50 kills what a beast of a triad just killing everything as soon as it comes out now I wonder if the triad can probably shoot over this I was thinking maybe put some arty up here on this cliff and uh, take out the PDs that way, but the... Damn, the HQ is wrecked. The P-Gen is wrecked. The second P-Gen, the third one is gonna go down. Because not only do they have massive range on those missiles, they have radar of an equal range. So you can't be safe. I mean, a stealth gen would protect him until some scouting happens. That's an idea to protect him from the cruiser missiles get some stealth gens again he needs power to to fund that but you know a stealth gen base might be one way to get get a base up but I think it's too late now now that he's lost this production he needed shields and a lot of TMD it's very difficult to stop the missiles of the UEF cruiser and <laughs> this hydro <laughs> this would have been nice to kill I think he still hasn't has never Never spotted this. What's on this island? Yeah. It still has power. Somehow. It's all this power. Oh, he actually built a T2P gen. This one is still alive. It's building a lot of power. But still, this base exists. There's no. There's not even that many tanks for. For Tizen, the PDs have been killed, I uh, presumably by by cruiser missiles. How many cruisers do we have now? Only eight. I mean, only. That's quite a lot of cruisers, but I don't think he's been making anything other than cruisers for a while. Uh, he's idle. He has enough cruisers. He wants to focus on his land production, and yeah, look at this army. Still has. He has even more tanks now than he had previously. 140 tanks. Has to be the strangest. G no, not at all. <laughs> it's pretty weird, but I don't know. There's some crazy games. Oh, Tizen. Control K. Is he calls it a day. Yeah. Okay, his faff history. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's what I. That's likely true. There's some there's some metal games on uh, Tag Crafties. This is kind of a 20x20 version of uh, Tag Crafties Maximus. Similar concept. Tizen is not happy. Well, yeah, if he just if he cleared out this land base, then it gives him so much space. He doesn't have to worry about all this land shit. And then he can actually focus on securing turtling up getting the TMD getting the and he could just make mexes and it's a lot easier I mean yeah bully dozer can hit everything almost most stuff with his cruisers but he also has to secure a base somewhere to build his build his shit like he has all this power here you know it would just love love to visit this island be a Janus. But alas, Blade Dozer did well holding up the the island. Very strange ACU usage throughout this game, gotta say, by Bully Dozer. But a good naval win and he won naval without losing the land. He had a pretty good advantage. Did I think really he did much better getting the the mexes, like you see, he had these and these very early, and also the both corners. So that's map control. That's big map control. So 
to give him a good lead and also both plateaus in the main island so more mass better expansion and then gg 30 minutes down the road that's that's how ff works a lot of the time so gg well played both players and thanks for watching see you next time